early morning brush fire in South Sacramento could be seen for miles, and it also knocked out power to thousands of people. It presented some extra challenges for firefighters as well. And KCR3's Kristen Samo shows us what happened and what made this fight so difficult. Crews responding to a grass fire in South Sacramento arrived at a dangerous scene. An abundance of live power lines and at least one trailer filled with fireworks, requiring them initially to pull back. And having to make that decision to pull them out and actually write off property and write off, uh, even at the temporary time, the power lines until we get that secured, that's a decision that's one of those tough ones we have to make. But I, I, potential for somebody getting killed or hurt was very, very high. Firefighters were able to create a wet line around the fire, but a lack of accessible water was another challenge, requiring support from nearby agencies. Meanwhile, 13,000 residents in Rancho Cordova had their power turned off because of this blaze. The reason so many people lost power this morning, this is the Hedge substation, one of SMUD's major substations in the area, and it was right across the street where the fire was burning. Well, it was a Obviously, a safety precaution to in case the fire spread or or burn one of the lines. We wanted to make sure that this was offline. Power was restored after about an hour once these flames were safely put out. The property where the fire started is owned by SMUD, but leased to a company that stores carnival equipment. Yeah, so there was uh, two acres of vegetation that burned, and then the we talked about it, looking at about five or six trucks and trailers, carnival equipment, fireworks. Uh, you know, looks like they what they set up for a commercial event. An investigation is now underway to determine how the blaze started, as well as whether the company had proper permits to store fireworks. In South Sacramento, Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News.